in this series of videos, I will be working through an experiment that I'm doing as part of the process of writing book three called The Subversion of Abigail Bazan. In this experiment, I'm testing different materials to see which one prompts rusting in uh, steel the most quickly. So I have some old nails here that I'm going to start by uh, cleaning with some emery cloth. Then I'm going to try four different uh, different materials and see which of them uh, promotes rusting the best. I'm going to use salt water. This is solar salt. I'm going to use finely granulated copper. I'm going to use purified water. And I'm going to use elemental iodine. Now I have five of these old style, I believe they're masonry nails, that I've sanded down with the emery cloth to get all the uh, old rust off. I also have five new roofing nails that we'll use as a comparison to the old style nails. approximately the 50 hour mark and we've got some definite discoloration on the nails in here and some interesting bubbles forming on the masonry nail surprisingly little activity still in the salt water though we have a little bit of discoloration around the masonry nail definite discoloration around the masonry nail and the roofing nail in the copper and a lot of discoloration in the water and as expected, no change in the control. It has now been uh, just about a week since I started this experiment. So now I'm going to uh, take a look at each one of these and make some observations. The nails in the iodine solution, or the iodine uh, container, have these weird uh, bubbles on them. Not really sure what's going on. Um, it appears that they are just bubbles because I can I can break them pretty easily. It's fair to say from this test at least that the iodine and copper the most dramatic effect the um, salt water and regular water had a minor effect. Um, Iodine seems to have the most dramatic effect on the roofing nail um, and the iodine and copper have similar effect on the masonry nail. We'll see how this plays out in the book. 